So guys, Johnny C. Public, bringing you right, 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 right before we do anything. Yes, I understand Virgil's a cheap character. Um, I'm not showing you how to fraud people out of Virgil. This is just a BNB combo that's pretty easy to do and simple with Virgil. Anyways, back to our scheduled program. Anyways, um, sorry guys. <laughs> Shitty humor, sorry. Anyways, I'm just going to be bringing you a Virgil combo. Um, a lot of people do it. It's pretty simple. Does about five, close to six hundred k, depending on uh, damn it, depending on how many hits you do, or anything like that. It's pretty simple. It's not as hard as uh, Magneto combos and Doctor Doom combos, which I've done previously. Uh, simple. Anyways, go ahead and get on with it real quick. It's pretty. It's pretty simple. I'm just gonna cut to it because it's nothing, nothing special. So, anyways, we'll go ahead and do it. Mess that up. There we go. About 571k. Pretty decent damage. Um, the only no tough thing about this is going to be to uh, buffer in the super jump, which after uh, Rising Sun, which is this move right here. Um, if you go into mission mode, it'll teach you how to do this combo, how to use this combo, or use it in combos, which is uh, also in this combo. So uh, it's simple. Just what you're gonna want to do is once it hits, it launches them in the air. Just push H and then super jump, which is down up. You see that? After after that, I just jump up. Like that. That's the only hard part of this combo. Everything else should be pretty easy. Um, pretty sure everything should be easy. So, anyways, go ahead. It, the, the starter is a, a simple chain combo. Uh, you can add Stinger by pushing forward H if you want to. It'll do more damage. But anyways, any kind of chain combo. Then you do Rising Sun, which is a sure you can with little. That's the move you're gonna want to do after the chain combo. Then you're going to want to uh, push H to get back to the ground. He'll teleport back to the ground. Like that. Then you're going to want to super jump, which is down up really fast. Kind of like that. Like down up like that. Yeah. And you're going to want to hit him. Once you catch up to him in the air after the rising sun, you're going to want to hit medium H in the air. Um, yeah, just medium H. I think you can do two mediums into an H if you want. That's fine. Uh, I usually just do a medium H. Now you're going to want to hit S. After you hit him with the medium H, that'll cause a ground bounce. Then you can hit crouching or standing H. Doesn't really matter. They'll both hit. Um, it's, it's way, whatever you want to use it. Now after that, you want to launch again, and then hit medium, medium H into high time, and just finish it with a super. Uh, if you're already somewhat aware of Virgil, um, which a lot of people should be since he's the go-to beginner character because he's very powerful, that last part should be pretty simple. <coughs> Sorry guys. But anyways, um, that's about it for this combo. Uh, it could be done in double trigger also. It's ridiculously it does a lot of damage in X Factor level three, like he, like Virgil always does. It's an insta kill, pretty much. It's you could do a lot more, and since he moves a lot faster in X Factor, um, it's pretty much an insta kill combo. So uh, that's about it for it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm trying to think of stuff to add on to this. There's really not much to. Um, the only, now that I think of it, the only thing I can uh, add on to this is that from this combo, you can also uh, combo into so uh, Rapid Slash, not Rapid Slash, to Spiral Swords, which is this move, and go into Sword Loops from there. But um, it's a little trickier. I, I probably won't get into it um, right now. Because it is a, uh, it's gonna be kind of tough because 
now that you've already wasted your ground bounce, you're going to have to do a version that has you not using ground bounces for the sword loops. And I, I don't want to make the video too long. So um, if people request it or I feel bored later on and I will, then I will do a tutorial for it or just go into the sword loops tutorial and cover the ways to do that. Um, just to let you know I can do it. Sword loops aren't hard. Uh, they're pretty easy for the most part. They're just the timing of it and learning how to do it is pretty a lot, lot worse. I don't know. I wouldn't say it's that hard. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching guys. If y'all want to see more Virgil or any kind of other characters, I'm doing it for uh, most of the cast. So um, your, your favorite character might be up soon. So just let me know what you guys think. If you needed any help, uh, I'll help in the comment section i'll get back to you as quick as i can and uh thanks for watching if you could also do a huge favor and just give me a like or comment on the video that'd be awesome so i'll catch you guys later thanks